Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. The screen that we're going to discuss this time around involves price to cash flow. And here to explain that for us is, of course, that master stock screener himself, Kevin Matris. Uh, this is, I have to admit, a new one on me. I've heard, you know, price to book and all of that, but price to cash flow is new on me. Yeah, first time we've talked about it here. Um, and the reason why I'm looking at this this time is because I've been running screens to try and really assess what a company's true valuation really is. Now, the P.E. ratio, price-earnings ratio, that is probably one of the most common ways to determine whether or not a company is overvalued or undervalued. Mm -hmm. But the price to cash flow is an excellent ratio to do that very thing. Is that, that's not a term you came up with. That is actually, it exists? Yeah, it's, it's an item. It's an item in most screeners. It's an item in the research wizard. And it really is one of the favorite items that analysts will use uh, to really assess what the true valuation of a company is and what the market is pricing a stock at. Okay. All right. Well, and it comes at a time when I would imagine cash is a very important component to a uh, company's bottom line right now. Yeah, it really is. You know, cash is really vital to a company's financial health, uh, especially nowadays to be able to finance operations, invest in the business and this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But as for the investor, I think it's a very good item to use because the cash portion of it can't really be manipulated the way earnings can on an income statement. For instance, if you were to look at the net income uh, for the cash flow portion of the price to cash flow, that adds back in depreciation and amortization. Rightly so, because those two things aren't really cash expenditures. However, when you're looking at the net income for the earnings portion of the P.E. ratio, those things are not added back in. And because they're not, that can actually reduce earnings, thus skewing the P.E. ratio. Uh, and that is why so many analysts like to look at the price to cash flow instead of the P.E. to really get a gauge of what a company's true valuations are. It's an interesting point that you bring up. Mm -hmm. So the price to cash flow then is calculated the same way? Price divided by cash? Yeah, same thing. You know, the P.E. ratio looks at price divided by earnings per share. The price to cash flow does something similar, price divided by the cash flow per share. And similar to the P.E. ratio, the lower the number, the better. So what would a good number be for this? Um, you know, if you were to look at uh, the, the average price to cash flow for the stocks in the S&P, uh, they are coming in at right around 9 and if you were to look at the average P.E. ratio for the stocks in the S&P, that's coming in right around 12. Now, like the P.E., uh, conventional wisdom says that if you're looking at a valuation of less than 20, that would be good. But what I would say is the best way to use that item is to really look at the valuation in comparison to the industry because different industries will have different price to cash flows that are considered normal. So really do a relative comparison. All right, and uh, right about now I can hear the audience yelling from their side of their computer screen, the screen, the screen. So what are the parameters? The screen that we're doing today, it's relatively simple. Of course, it uses the price to cash flow as the main component, but check it out. The screen starts off by looking at companies with a Zacks rank of less than or equals to two, which means only buys and strong buys will get through. The next item is we're looking at the one-year projected growth rate to be greater than the average for the S&P. So again, we're looking for above market growth rates. Mm -hmm. The next item is we're looking for the current cash flow to be greater than or equals to the five-year average cash flow. So again, we want to see the company's cash position improving. And then we follow it up with the ratio. We want the price to cash flow to be less than or equals to the median for its industry. So we want to see companies with valuations that are lower than the median for their respective groups. And then, you know, I always ask for that one stock that you want to share with us that came through the screen. You always do that. <laughs> <laughs> the stock that came through, actually there were plenty of stocks that came through, but one of the stocks that came through was a company called NRG Energy ticker NRG. <laughs> uh, they own and operate a diverse portfolio of power generating facilities primarily located in the United States. They have a Zacks rank of a 2, 
Their estimated EPS growth rate for the next 12 months is over 33%, pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, they've increased their cash flow by over 6% over their five-year average, and their price to cash flow is only 4.19. And incidentally, their PE ratio is pretty low as well, 9.56. Very good. Now, if you look at a chart, you can see that they are trading in the upper part of their recent range. And it looks as if if you can get a breakout through the 25-ish area, you should see the stock go nicely higher. So the stock looks pretty good. And do you own it? I do not. All right. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would throw that in there for good one. this time. And as always, if you would like to see more of the stocks that have come through this screen, you need to go to Zax.com, especially if you have linked up with this video outside of our website. Zax.com is the address of the homepage. Scroll down that homepage until you get to the headline under Screen of the Week's banner and Kevin's smiling picture right next to it. Click on it. It'll take you to the text version of this piece. And at the bottom, there are more stocks that have come through this screen that you can uh, sit and take note of. With Kevin Matris and the Screen of the Week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.